What's going on guys, Michael from GPRisers.com and in today's video we actually are going to repad a RTX 3080 Founders Edition. So this card right now is getting around 92 on the memory. I will go ahead and post a screenshot right here on the screen for you guys to see what the before is and then after we repad it I'll post another screenshot that shows you guys what the after temperatures are. So the video is just going to be a time lapse of me repadding it. Uh, this is the first time I repadded a 3080 Founders Edition so uh, I'm going to to speed it up a little bit so you might see me mess up a little bit a couple times so the reason why i am repadding these of course 3080s thermal throttle uh, they're notorious for it but 92 is a little much for being on a test bench isolated by itself and uh, we are actually going to be putting eight of these into one of the gp risers r8s now we only are going to be putting two founders uh, the six others are full hash rates but they're a mix between evga and there's actually two on there that are thermal throttling we'll probably do a video on those as well but i just wanted to make sure that we get these repadded before they do go in because that is happening soon if you guys have been watching our vlogs we are kind of building a wall of these r8s so we want to make sure all of these are not having any thermal issues or anything like that before we throw them in uh, we probably aren't going to touch them for a while we kind of want to just let them uh, turn on and run and so doing a repad on these cars beforehand uh, just makes it so that we don't have to do maintenance later on and turn it off and everything like that we could just let it sit and run so that said i am going to do a time lapse of repadding this card and applying thermal paste and everything like that right now All right, guys, we are back. We went ahead and did a repaste. I didn't put on any of the uh, screw covers or anything like that. I will do that. I just wanted to make sure that this turned on and everything worked fine. So we did use our two millimeter pads. Uh, the 3080s actually are kind of interesting. It can either be one and a half or two, and you don't really know until you open it up and kind of do a, uh, you know, use a caliper or something like that to measure it out. So each one can be different. Um, I, it might've been from when they were manufactured. I'm really not sure. If you are repadding um, a 3080, make sure uh, that you do measure it out before you do it because it can be one and a half millimeter or two millimeter. 
And so here we have it guys, 310 watts on here. That's the settings are the exact same as they were before. Actually, we are getting about three less watts and 1% less on the fan. I'm not sure why the settings are exactly the same, but it looks like the core went up a couple degrees Celsius, uh, which is normal. You know, when you have pads that are dissipating more heat across the back plate and across the, the PCB board, the core is likely to absorb some of that heat. So I will post a screenshot on the screen right now so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you guys can see that the core is up a little bit, uh, nothing to be alarmed about, but you can also see that the VRAM temperatures did drop all the way down to 80 Celsius. Now this is about a 12 degree Celsius drop, which is great, but where these really do shine is um, once they're in a server case like this or in a mining environment with other cards. These pads will really help this card maintain a lower temperature and avoid any kind of thermal throttling. The ambient temperature here in the room is about 76 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but that is not going to be the normal mining environment that this card will be in. So uh, it would actually be interesting to test uh, the card in a mining environment and do a repad. Maybe I will go ahead and do that with our second 3080 right here. Drop a comment down below if you would like to see a test with that. I haven't really seen a test like that before, so uh, maybe that would be a good, uh, you know, experiment to kind of run on these cards. So I know uh, probably everyone kind of skipped through the time lapse. I would have probably done the same thing, but I wanted to keep all the video in there uh, just in case some people wanted to pause on a certain part or see a certain thing. Um, I did not repad the back of the card and that is because there's no VRAM on the back of the card. So any kind of change would be very minimal. I think the pads that came with this card would have been fine, but we did make sure to cover any memory modules, but we are going to be doing a lot of repadding uh, videos soon. Uh, we know that there's a lot of demand for content uh, when it comes to repadding different models. So any models that we do have that are having issues, which is a good amount of the 3080s, even if they're kind of teetering on thermal throttling, we are going to repad them. So we will make sure to release a video uh, for all of those cards and everything like that. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be everything for this video. I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day and we'll see you guys next time.